Greetings and salutations, this is Pandora the Eclectic, also known as Pandora the Eclectic One on SoundCloud, and today I decided to try a different um, screen recorder, so if it doesn't work quite as well, um, just let me know. Yeah, so, let's get into this. Don't worry, I'm going to do gyms one day. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, here's another feminist poetry type thing. But, trust me, I, I think this one will be a little bit funnier just for the fact that it's like. Okay. I am the feminist Well, sweetie, first of all, don't take it so hard. Um, but, you know, I don't think and me and my husband really appreciate having I mean, I like threesomes, but there's just, you know, she just wasn't that good at it, you know? It was one thing when Bob wanted to, you know, lay a certain way, and I wanted to go a certain way, but damn it, she always wanted to be on top, and, you know, I'm gonna tell you something. I ain't no bottom bitch. Okay. Uh, and yes, I am the one who convinced her to get that shorter haircut that you pretend to like but don't really like. I am the feminist. Well, yeah. See about that. And I do believe you're the kind of girlfriend who would give me very poor advice. And at least my boyfriend is a lot more understandable than you are. About at least telling me the truth. So, good for him. This was pushing your daughter down the slippery slope of bloodhood by giving her a high five when she says she keeps her own supply of condoms. And incidentally, I tried to... Well, first of all, I don't believe you're the one who invented them. And then you could think it would be the father that would give, be giving his son a high five. Remember? Women are not supposed to be the congratulated ones when it's the sex, and well, neither are the dudes. I mean, the dudes are the ones who are supposed to be congratulated. Just saying. Sounds pretty fucking normal. Murder by sex, you gay! By re recommending. Okay, now it's official. These different genders and sexualities come the fuck on. You know, I, I, I can put up with homosexual. I can put up with bisexual. But, yeah, you gotta draw a line somewhere. <laughs> dental tan. Yes, I am that hysterical feminist who demands trigger warnings on scenes of rape and violent sexual conduct. Yes, I am that Right. Right. Um. Yeah, you certainly don't look like that, but I don't trust that you aren't, madam. Just out of fairness. Anyways. Damn, that nice queen cunt who responds to your street side compliments with her most frigid. Well. 
I didn't need your comment. I am out to infringe upon your right and freedom and extra room on the subway bestowed upon you for having a penis. Well, no offense, but I don't see you attempting to fix it or we'll get rid of that law, so... You know, according to you and that whole guilt association that men are problems in the whole realm of feminism, yeah, I think I can blame you as part of that collective of people who don't like the opposite gender based on those reasons. I am absolutely a threat to your way of life. Nah, you're a mild inconvenience that needs to go away. But a threat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a threat. Real threatening. Oh, wow. Other than maybe losing my video games, my comic books, that are exactly the way I like them. Huh? Um, no. No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, so that was Mickey Randall. Oh man. And that nonsense. So Yeah. Anyways, uh I got nothing more to say other than what the fuck, folks? What the fuck? Anyways, um, keep it frosty, and I promise you, next time I do one of these, it'll be a little bit more interesting. Anyways, um, to poetry, button poetry, and Miss Mickey Randall, Randall here, or. Uh, just Randall, like you don't like your gender pronouns brought up. Um, go feminist, be a feminist elsewhere. And to all of my subscribers, followers, and viewers, just keep it frosty.